what is up guys this is Danny for do tech and welcome back with another video so in today's video we will be discussed and talking about and give you guys some information about the Saigon jailbreak which is, has been released from two days ago and we're still on the beta status so if you want to jailbreak your device you will be keeping your mind that is going to be on the beta status so it might is going to be sometimes fell when you try to jailbreak your device and it's my some feedback that I already received uh, some other people they already jailbreak their device and they said the jailbreak is not that much stable yet but it's still as far as you jailbreak so we will be discussed and talking about some information and update you guys about some thoughts here and some other stuff that I want to talk with you guys about it and answer some questions so let's get into it so basically most of the questions that I receive it's about the support devices and what device it's supported and why the other devices is not supported yet. So basically I'm going to be put the link, the official link for Saigon Jailbreak on the description down below. Go ahead and visit the link and always I told you guys to go ahead and check on the uh, official website. That is a lot of information on the official website so you can go through those information. So talking about the support devices section, as you guys can see here, and this is the official website. It says the iPhone 6, 6 Plus, and the iPhone 6S, the SE, and the iPad Air Wi-Fi 2. Those are right now currently is if you're running the iOS 10.2.1 on those devices specific. I'm just talking about those right now. If you're running the 10.2.1, you're good to go and you can use the beta file, download the IPA beta file and you can use the CD impactor to jailbreak your device and you will be good to go. Okay, so the other question is what about if you are on the 5S, what about if you on uh, iPhone 7, 7 Plus, other iPad device, the iPod, what about those devices? Well. For right now, those devices are is not supported yet. If it's going to be uh, some other project and uh, get some other devices to the same jailbreak status, if that's going to be work or not, and I'm going to be update you guys in the near future. Okay, so the next question that I've been received from two days ago till today, that is a lot of people, they told me that the I have an iPhone 6, I have an iPhone 6 Plus, other devices that's been supposed to be supported for that kind of jailbreak, I try to jailbreak my device and my device is not working and keeps rebooting. So uh, keep in mind that the jailbreak is just on the beta status right now, so it is not stable. So the job is not going to be done in one or two days. Just give it a time a little bit and we'll see how it's going to be goes. So if we uh, visit right now the Abraham sorry, which is going to be the Saigon uh, developer. This is his uh, Twitter account and I will be making sure to leave it for you guys in the description down below if you want to go and visit him and uh, ask him some questions if you want to go and support him on Twitter. And uh, as I told you guys, if you have any other questions or something like that, you can just go ahead and ask him directly. So uh, one of from his tweet. Uh, from uh, like uh, one or two days ago as you guys can see Abram right now he just get most of the feedback from the people because he don't have other devices to test his uh, jailbreak on those devices so this is one of the uh, tweets that he has from two days ago he says it looks like the 6.6s 6 and the SE are working so that's why I told you guys you need to just uh, give it a time a little bit and then as you guys can see right now the developer he don't have most of the devices so he can test uh, his jailbreak on it so he just get right now most of the feedback from the people who has most of those devices. Okay so let me just get back to the same website and let me talking about something which is going to be a lot of people they keep asking me about it what about the 10.3.1 what has happened and what is the status of that jailbreak so pretty much as you guys can see we are still on the 10.2.1 on a beta status so i think the developer is just waiting for most of the feedback to get it from his friends from the people who who has already jailbreak their devices 
and the next step in the near future and i think it's not going to be take a long time as far as most the bucks that he got or most the uh, kbb uh, bypass he used right now it's matching with the 10.2.1 to build his jailbreak so uh as i told you guys it might all be c the next jailbreak which is going to be support the 10.3.1 so that's it for today's video and i hope most the information that i push for you guys is going to be my uh help you a little bit uh, for most the questions and uh i will be making sure to update you guys once i have some other information and uh talking about the 10.2.1 and the 10.3.1 any other uh new information that i get i will be making sure to post another video to update you guys and give you guys a new update about it so i hope you guys enjoyed today's video and catch you guys with the next one peace